Hello guys and welcome to my fall project use it up update for the month of October. So as you can tell we are celebrating Halloween you guys. I've got my little happy Halloween shirt on. This is from Walmart a few years ago. I've got on my little dogs in ghost costumes. This is from Marshalls I want to say last year. I've got my pigtails, my little bracelets, I did my makeup, and this makeup look is actually going to be in my book vlog that'll be going up after this. So I hope you guys are loving the daily October videos. So last week I kind of did more of every weekday videos because I did actually host a girls night last weekend, so I was kind of concentrating on that. But going forward, I do plan on doing even weekend videos. So every single day for the rest of October, you will see a new video from me. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Anyways, let's get started on going through my four routines that I created for the fall project. Use it up. If you did not see the intro, I will put it up here. You can go watch that first. But now we're going to talk through what I finished and what I have progress on from last month. I finished off two items from last month. This doesn't usually happen in my project use it ups but this item was already pretty much halfway used. So this is the Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte Foaming Sugar Scrub that I finished off. I did not end up cutting it open just because this is not my favorite scent, I'm gonna be honest. The notes are Pumpkin Latte, Toasted Marshmallows, and Creamy Sandalwood. I just, I'm not really a big fan of it, so I finished it off. Um, it was right here when I entered it into the project. So it was already like more than halfway used. So happy to have it finished. I do like this foaming sugar scrub formula, just not my favorite scent. And then I also finished off this little sample size from Replica in Autumn Vibes. And this one was also already pretty low. It was right here when I put it in. So I probably used it for like a solid week and then it was done. I liked this scent. I am just not the biggest fan of fresh perfumes. So I liked it. I would recommend it to other people to try, but I personally won't be picking it up. So starting off, the first routine that I have to update you guys on is my pumpkin queen routine. So you guys will remember I named all of my body care combos for the fall project use it up. The first one is pumpkin queen. It's all my favorite pumpkin scents. So first I have the pumpkin icing philosophy shower gel. I am obsessed with this. It's so, so yummy. Even Ryan, I have noticed, has been using it in the shower. So we did get some progress from here to here in the last month, and I think we'll continue to use it up. This one is such a big size. It is 16 ounces, as opposed to the Bath & Body Works 10 ounce shower gels. So there's so much in here. I've used this last year too, but it's such a wonderful pumpkin scent. It really just smells like a pumpkin baked good. It smells so good with like cream cheese icing on top. It is wonderful. Also in the shower, I've been using the Dove Holiday Treats Cinnamon Pumpkin Pie Scrub from last year. This one I have gotten some good progress on. I am, I only have about a third of it left. This one is so nice and gentle that I'm able to use it pretty much every day or every other day. And so I've really been enjoying it and I definitely will continue to in October and maybe even into November. This is like perfect for Thanksgiving. So really enjoying that. For moisturizers, I have the White Pumpkin Chai Body Lotion, which I've been using so much, I swear. Anytime I get the pumps on these lotions, I use them really quickly. So we went from here to here, and I will probably, at this rate, have this finished off in the next month. But White Pumpkin and Chai is Cinnamon Cider, Spice Pumpkin, and Vanilla Glaze, and it's so, so yummy. I've also been using it in the Fine Fragrance Mist. And this one I have some good steady progress on just from here to here. I think I've been using this one the most out of all the sprays that I have in. It is so nice and cozy and really just evokes the fall spirit. So I'm loving this one. And last thing to update on is the Pumpkin Swirl Cake Body Cream. The notes on this are Pumpkin Spice Caramel Toffee and Creamy Vanilla. And I have about this much progress. I haven't really been using this a ton because it is super gourmand, super heavy, and super spicy. So sometimes I'm just like not in the mood for that, especially because it hasn't been cold here yet, but I am going on a trip and I think I will be checking my luggage. So I want to bring this um, because I will be going somewhere cold. I'm going to be going to Chicago. I say cold, but they're in like the 60s at night and they're in like the 60s. So I think that's still cold to me, but yeah, definitely will be using this more as the weather changes. And then for perfumes in my pumpkin collection or pumpkin routine, I have Replica's Jazz Club in the mini. I have not used this at all since the last update. 
And then I also have by the fireplace, which I have not used at all either. And somebody said I actually should put this in with a different routine. So I'll update you on that a little bit later. But to put in beside this, I have a new perfume that I want to introduce to my pumpkin queen routine. And this is Pumpkin Creme by Le Monde Gourmand. If you did not see, I did do an Ulta haul earlier. I think it was last week. And I did haul two Le Monde Gourmand perfumes. This one is so good. I'm going to put the notes down here for you guys because I don't remember them. But there's not a ton. This one, I sprayed it and tested it out when I first got it in. And I could smell it on myself all day long. Especially like when I worked out somehow like with the warmth of my body heating up I could smell it even more and it smelled so good so I definitely recommend if you're looking for a gourmand pumpkin perfume to try out pumpkin creme this lasted forever on me and I got this from Ulta it was actually like 40% off um, for a sale that they were having and it's only available online so I think they also sell this on urbanoutfitters.com as well but I like getting my Ulta points. So next I have my basic vanilla goddess routine and I've been really enjoying this since it has not been cold here yet. So first we have Bonfire Bash and the Fine Fragrance Mist, just a wonderful vanilla scent. This is vanilla bourbon, creamy sandalwood and cashmere musk. So yummy and sugary. So this one I have progressed from here to here, not a ton, but I've been using it, I've been loving it and I'm really happy with this one. In the shower, I have Vanilla Romance in the Moisturizing Body Wash. I have gotten some good progress on this one from here to here. And this one is Fresh Cardamom, Vanilla Absolute, and Captivating Woods. Just a really yummy, cozy vanilla scent. For moisturizer in this routine, I have Cozy Vanilla Bourbon. This is Warm Bourbon, Dark Fruit, and Vanilla Liqueur. I only use this like a couple times, so I only have a little bit of progress. I have not been using body creams just because it's still been pretty hot here. So we're finally cooling down a little bit to where our average like midday temperature is only in the 80s instead of 90s. So we're cooling down just a little bit. If only we could like keep 70s, I would feel really great. But yeah, this one is really heavy, so I have not been using it at night yet. And then the perfume that I had in here is Dossier's Musky Musk, which I did get a little bit of progress on just from here to here, just a little bit, not a ton, but I have been using it which is kind of surprising for me because I don't use perfume daily typically, but I've really been gravitating towards this one. Next, we have my spicy witch routine, and this one is basically Wicked Vanilla Woods and a couple other things. So I have the shower gel and the lotion. The shower gel I have been using so much. We are from here to here. So I used almost half of it in the last month. I think Ryan has also been using this one. It is more of like a masculine slash unisex scent. The notes are Magical Vanilla, Glowing Amberwood, and Enchanted Pink Pepper. It is really peppery. Um, vanilla is definitely like the base of this scent, but it's peppery, it's ambery. It shocked me how much I love this, but honestly, I have not been using the lotion. I couldn't even tell you where it was because this is a black bottle. So let me look inside. Okay, we're about right here. So I guess I used it a couple times because it was full. But yeah, not my favorite in the lotion, but I've loved it in the shower gel. And then with that, I've been using Almond Blossom in my Fine Fragrance Mist, which I went and looked and they don't sell this online anymore. It used to be an online exclusive and they don't have it anymore, but I know they bring it back every now and then for SAS. So if you were looking for this one, you might have to just search on Mercari. But my progress on this has not been a lot, just from here to here, not really using it a ton. And then Dossier's Floriental Brown Sugar, which I did use just a little bit as well. You can see the line there. I've actually been gravitating towards perfumes lately, which is not typical for me, so I've been loving this. And then one of you guys said I should put replicas by the fireplace in with this routine, which you're totally right. This is supposed to be a very spicy scent, like a bonfire kind of scent, but really spicy. So I'm excited to try it out with this spicy witch routine and see how that goes. And then my last routine that I have to update you guys on is my apple picking princess, which I definitely used a lot of last month. This is definitely my September scent. This is champagne, apple, and honey. And in the shower gel, I actually used Wicked Vanilla Woods more. So we went from here to here. So I used maybe a little more than a third of it. The notes are crisp apple, sparkling champagne, jasmine honey, and autumn woods. And then in the body lotion, I used about half of it. So we went from right up here to down to here, a little bit more than half actually. Really been loving this. This is kind of my like everyday 
lotion, especially if I'm doing like morning showers, I will use this one. And then for the mist that's going along with this one, I do have the mini champagne apple and honey, which I did use just a little bit in the last month, not a ton. Um, and then we also have vampire blood, which I honestly kind of forgot that I put it in the project. So I only have a tiny bit of progress. If you can even see that line where it used to be tiniest bit of progress. This is red berries, night blooming jasmine and petrifying plum. I feel like I'm going to try and focus on this one for the month of October for like spooky season since it is my only Halloween scent that's in the project right now. Um, but yeah, I definitely forgot that I put it in the project. And the last item that I have to update you guys on is Champagne Toast in the perfume. Now I'm not gonna mark this one because it's a really pretty perfume bottle and I don't wanna mark it, but you can tell I have used it a little bit since it was full last month. And you can see there's some space now. Really just a nice fruity scent that I've been loving. So that is it for my fall Project Use It Up update for the month of October. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Please let me know down below what you're using for October. I would love to know what your like spooky season scent is for right now because I feel like mine changes with the weather, but obviously I use all four of these. So I'm kind of just like a mood scent picker. I pick my scent based off my mood for the day. But anyways, that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!